Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we're going to be talking about Patan Battle and how you can utilize it to maximize your units and be able to get the most out of everything that you can get. So, before we go ahead and jump in, if you haven't done so already, make sure you guys go down and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified of each and every video that I'm uploading. And then also, if you like today's video, don't forget that thumbs up because it definitely helps out the channel, helps out the video, and makes sure more people understand how to play Baton Battle better. So, going into the Baton Battle, you have the decision between going through training items, Zenny, Awakening Medals, or Potential Orbs. Obviously, most people want the Potential Orbs, so that's going to be what we jump into. Now, from here, we can take a look that you could see that you have two normal levels, a hard, Z hard, and a super. And then each one has a specific type of enemy that you can actually go into it. And then if you actually look right here, you'll actually see a little bit of a health bar. And even on the normal one, you'll see that there's a little bit of a difference. And then obviously it just keeps getting stronger and stronger all the way up until the point where obviously Super Saiyan Goku is going to be very difficult to fight. So when you're jumping in, you decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and battle this one. This right here are all your available stickers or units that you can go ahead and say, all right, I'm going to go ahead and try to utilize these units to try to get everything much better. And you want to maximize your units by making sure that you have the least amount of units being used to try to beat the level. So, I, you know, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory on that standpoint and go from there. So when we're trying to turn around and, and decide how much we want to do some additional damage or, or I guess first let's talk about the drops because you can actually turn around and get additional drops when when going against enemies by using other specific enemies in order to help it out from the uh, collection so in, in this particular one with birder um, which before I <laughs> start on that too a huge shout out to uh, uh, the Dokkan Wiki, because Dokkan Wiki has all this information that's on there. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and jump on. Um, but usually you have to actually start off on something that's going to be a little bit harder. So we'll actually go into the hard mode uh, in order to get this. So this Goldo right here, if you actually have Krillin, that is this one right here, you can actually get some additional damage dealing against him. Uh, and then there's also ways you could get additional damage dealt if you have the, let me make sure this is the right one though, it says number 23, if you actually click on the card, yep, it'll tell you which uh, number it is, so number 23, that Krillin will be able to do additional damage against him, now that alone doesn't do anything with it, you're going to want to try to get some more units to go against him to be able to help out, and you can do that by actually having team ups going through when you're trying to find, you know, the best group to be able to sit there and say, okay, who, who can help with this the best, so if you actually turn around and throw him down, and then able to turn around and throw on uh, Bulma, and then, uh, let's see here, you could also do a Kid Goku, but I don't seem to be able to have them, but as you can see, I'm not really getting it down any further, so we might need some additional help from here, so because he's tech, you want to try to find some uh, uh, intelligence to go against him, which, I that, that right there is the only intelligence one, I can't get it, but we're going to probably have to turn around and use... Uh, another unit to be able to kind of help out in defeating uh, Goldo. So we're going to just whoops, jump in, try to get, man, none of these guys are dropping down. There we go. We start seeing some drop downs here. And there, we're going to use three units. Uh, we want to try to actually get some of those additional drops. So we want, ah, you know what, we'll go ahead and do this just because I'm using that extra one because he's able to turn around and get the additional drop. So we'll go ahead and basically utilize him and then have that go. So you can see up here, an hour and 25 minutes in order to go ahead and beat him. Now if we actually jump in and try to take on full power Frieza, uh, again from here we want to be able to do some uh, additional damage on them. So we're going to find out, I don't know if you can click on, no you can't click on them. Okay, so from here we're going to want to turn around and say, okay, let's find out the uh, best unit to be able to to deal some additional damage onto them. Oh, let's see here, and some additional drops. Uh, let's see here, just so you guys are seeing on the Dokkan Wiki, we'll actually come over here and take a look at it. Dokkan Wiki, great page. 
So additional drops, additional damage, and this is where I was talking about that you can actually go through and try to locate. So we're going against full power Frieza, so we want to try to locate that full power Frieza right there. So really you would need to have Super Saiyan Goku, which I do not have one of those right now at this time. So I'm not able to do that. Let's see here if I've got anything that could take on Goku. Because he was the other one. Uh, let's see here. I do have a full power... Or no, I'm sorry, I have this final form Frieza right here. Uh, so he would be able to get me some additional boost there. So we will go ahead and throw him on there. And then, uh, again, we could try to find some maximization on units. Uh, let's see. Gotta find... There we go. So we're gonna use five with a boost. So hopefully this is gonna work out. When you actually go into the battle... As we get everything to load up here, you're going to notice that as they start fighting, I'm not having anybody that is having any type of extra boost. I mean, this right here is the first unit that's actually fighting. It's going to take me 52 minutes. I'm actually getting type advantage there because he's a tech, and that's why you're going to see the little stars like he's stunned. So that's going to be beneficial on that. So I'm trying to get some of these to actually boost up. I'm getting really low on some of my stickers, so it's going to be a little bit harder. But that's pretty much the way you wanted to go through and, and try to get them situated. Now, obviously, these guys right there, you know, that's another boost. Those are all units that work together well. So we're going to go ahead and use all of these guys to jump in, and we should be able to see a blue ring around them as we start having them actually battle. And uh, see right there, you can see the blue rings on them. And I don't, I didn't think they had to be next to each other, but I think we're, what we're missing on here is the Goku to make sure that everybody is is powering up on that standpoint. Um, so hopefully here that'll work out. Again, you'll see him, he's getting uh, the stars, and then we're going to have some time on that standpoint. But once you're actually done collecting them, uh, then you're actually going to be able to go in, pull up the units, and you should be fine from that standpoint. Uh, so hopefully this helps you out. Uh, going through, oh wait. We don't want to back out, because <laughs> if you back out, you, you can only do one type of level at a time. But the good thing is that you have an hour cooldown after you win. So you're able to turn around and kind of wait and make a decision on how you want to uh, be able to approach it. Uh, so going in with this guy, we're going to try to... I don't think he's going to have anything. We'll go back into here. Go to the additional damage. Scroll down. And I don't remember seeing that guy on the list that you could deal additional damage to. No, so you can't use anything for him. Uh, I'm sorry, for the additional drops, not... Additional drops right there. Maybe? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll scroll down. And, yeah, see, we, can, we don't have anything with him. He's just uh, too low level, so you can't get additional drops on him, which uh, kind of makes sense. We will go back in here to the additional damage. And then from here, we should be able to find some people that will be able to help out. So I do have a Zarbon, but I don't know if I have anybody that's going to be able to boost with Zarbon. Uh, let's see here. Super, oh, no, that's not Super Zarbon. Where is he? Uh, no, it doesn't look like Super Zarbon's got anybody that can actually mix with him. So we'll go down here. Let's see here. Not the Goku. Is there anybody with... I think all my guys are too low a level that I currently have. Without having the main person to be able to boost them. That right there is that Tien and Chaozu that's there. So it doesn't look like we have the any of the main units that I could be able to turn around and and boost damage on it for right now, but that's okay. We'll, we'll try to get those uh, figured out later on. Uh, but hopefully that has helped you out, helped you figure out exactly how Baton Battle works. And uh, otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and make sure you go down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys later.